what's been Red Gain's experience? What has been your experience so far? You know, you you know, out of many of us, you are an international. You've seen probably in the trajectory you are far ahead in that sense. So, what are your experiences been, and what is your learnings from that from early on? Sure. So, um, let me first introduce myself. I'm Bhanu Chopra, founder and CEO at Red Gain. So, Red Gain is targeted largely to the hospitality and travel industry. We provide cloud-based solutions in the areas of comparative intelligence, and largely our solutions aid the revenue management function, sales and distribution function of hoteliers. Um, some of our clients are you know, the top OTAs. So the top eight out of the top 20 OTAs are our customers. Uh, the top uh, six car rental companies are our customers. Top eight hotel chains out of the top 20 hotel chains are our customers. So in, uh, just to give you a quick snapshot on how we started, so it was largely just me and um, uh, a really a peon. So I, I built the software from scratch. And um, when you think back, you can provide inputs based on hindsight. But really, um, I was a techie as well. And I noticed the same thing across a lot of these software engineers as well, which is to just focus more on the product. And I was hesitant to actually go out and sell. Uh, but eventually gathered some courage. and began to re really reach out. And uh, as luck would have it, we stuck upon a very big customer. And I think that's been consistent across the panelists here. I think starting up, it's important to get that one big customer. And for us as well, we were self-funded, so we didn't really have any institutional capital involved. And it was important to have this big customer that would provide us capital, which would serve as oxygen for us to carry on and actually build a very, very robust and scalable product. So once that was done, you can actually pretty much take that model and replicate it across uh, geographies. Of course, you have to localize wherever you go. But I think um, you know now um, it, it's more a lot of the time that I spend is actually motivating sales teams and focusing a lot on the organizational design, but also being very, very closely attached to uh, the marketplace as well. So I think um, uh, once you get to a scale, uh, for us, uh, two years ago, we were doing about uh, two or three deals a month. Now we do wherever you go. But I think, um, you know, now um, it, it's more, a lot of the time that I spend is actually motivating sales teams and focusing a lot on the organizational design, but also being very, very closely attached to uh, the marketplace as well. So I think um, uh, once you get to a scale, uh, for us, uh, two years ago, we were doing about uh, two or three deals a month. Now we do about 120 deals a month. So we're this year we're going to go over um, you know 1,000 deals over the course of the year, which is, mind you, B2B. Um, so, so I think uh, a lot of focus needs to go on setting the right processes. I think it's about you know what we call the three Ps. It's the product, processes, and people. So when you think about the product, you clearly need to have a compelling value proposition. Um, if you are competing with others, then you need to know and arm your sales team what the differentiator you have on your product. I think when you think about people, it's not just gathering or collecting you know, the best talent in terms of salespeople. I think you need to think about the ecosystem that you build around the salespeople as well. So I think you need to arm them with the right marketing, marketing support. I think you need to have the right product team, pre-sales team. In our company, we actually have the product team double up as pre-sales as well, because these are the guys that know the product best. So it's often best to take them in those customer conversations as well. And um, in terms of processes, I think it's about you know uh, having the right uh, uh, plans around how you in incentivize your sales team. Uh, you know, having it marked out the, the the workflow from the time you quote to the time you actually collect cash from the customer, and we try to uh, have a constant endeavor in ensuring that we make it extremely simple for the customer to interact with us. And I think one thing that has worked really, really well for us um, is is you know this concept of reaching a tipping point. So after you have acquired some customers. Uh, you know, the, 
uh, prospects start coming to you. And so it's important to get these customers, retain them, and wow them. Because you know, they might not give you customer referrals, but in the industry, they talk to each other. And if you have wowed them, you know, the business will come to you. Thank you. So I'm 